go. 100%. Oh, yeah. I've had some absolute bombs of sequences because I'm like, this is the best one. Oh, I think this is really funny. Like three people email back and be like, that's hilarious. And like 80 people are pissed off. I'm like, mm, that's not a great ratio. So I probably have a similar sense of humor to you. Like it's very niche. <laughs> if you appreciate it, you appreciate it. And I think that's something that can be easy to forget as you get more experience in sales, at least for me. What I mean is that like, I've kind of discovered these tricks through trial and error, like this sort of wording, this sort of like, what, what's the, what's the content that I can find on this person's company that's going to resonate? And it's sort of like this pattern recognition. And I go, oh, like that, like A works, B works, C works, but it's because F, D, mm -hmm. like I'll fail. And I'm sort of like recording it in my head. And then, you know, you talk to a new salesperson and you're like, that's wrong. And like, what, what do you mean? And it's because they don't have the like, oh, I've been doing this for 10 years and I'm filing away. This is what works with people. Like, because I guess for, uh, to try to make it a little bit less abstract and more concrete, like I feel that sales is about psychology and human nature. And that's why it's this evergreen career. Like we like to buy, especially if it's a big ticket item. Uh, which I would say big tickets, like anything that's like 20 grand plus, like we like to talk to a person and be like, look, like, this is what I want. This is what the problem I'm trying to solve. You who are the expert in your your product, like, can you help me see if this is the right fit? And the same is true of like starting a conversation with someone we're using this human nature and psychology to appear to be an expert, appear to be personable and not some scam artist or some that make it worth their time to actually engage with us. And that's what I have. And I'm sure every salesperson has over a career filing away of like, okay, like this sort of wording, this sort of language, these sort of um, career accolades or whatever it might be that we use to get their attention work on a higher ratio than the other tactics. A hundred percent. I think we've spent the last, you know, it, it's, it's an arms race is maybe not the right analogy, but I think there as you know we're all fishing in the same pond you know and as other fishermen move in you're trying to find that edge you're trying to find the tackle the you know the bait that has just like a little bit better you're trying to find that magical spot where you know the fish are going to bite more frequently than elsewhere and i think we've gone from like a bunch of a bunch of people just like fishing in a small pond to like now there's like folks with like boats and nets and like pr there are professionals and there's machinery getting involved and like it's you know i think when you are you know the sole fisherman and you're sending personalized messages it still works it still stands out mm -hmm.